So, hello everybody, and welcome back. Um, in this episode of the Direct Ink to PCB uh, talk, I'm going to talk about software, because once we've built all this, um, we want to see it moving and we want to see it doing useful stuff. And uh, so today we're not going to focus on the hardware, but we're going to look at the software and how to get it going and how to get everything onto the controller and the board and what to do to the software so it works with the thing you built and that might be different from what I built. So uh, let's just have a look at what we need to focus on. I'm going to put this into three parts. The first part is going to be transferring the software to the Arduino board. The second part will be um, getting something that we did on Eagle to work and to turn it into G-code. And the third part is going to be getting it to plot. So let's start at the beginning. And at the beginning, we have our little controller board. Now we need to download the software, compile it, and put it onto the Arduino. That is pretty simple, but we need to see to a few things, because sometimes some changes are necessary, because you might be using a different stepper than I was using, or maybe you had another configuration, and depending on that, you need to change the software. And I'm going to show you how. Now, at the beginning, and last time, I showed you this picture about the stepper. The stepper has all the different wires going to it, and uh, we actually need to know which wires are which, because we're going to have to tell the software which pins it has to turn on, in which order, in order to really turn the stepper the way it's supposed to turn. If you end up with software where your stepper isn't moving, it could well be that the numbering in the scheme to access the pins is wrong. Or you could be trying to move the stepper faster than it was designed to move, in which case you need to turn down the steps per second. Now, Last time I also showed this picture, and I'm going to use it again because you can see where the different coils are connected. They're connected to D8, D9, D10, and D11. We need to know the order of the pins and how they're connected to the stepper because we need to tell the software when it starts the stepper or when it initializes what the steppers are. The notation usually is you have a constructor where you call, have something called my stepper. And you tell it in which order the pins are connected, which would be 8, 9, 10, and 11 in this case. 8, 9, 10, 11. And you would find this in your software. You would have to change it if you change it on the board. Simple. Let's look at getting the software first. Okay, in the beginning we need to download the software from GitHub. This is where everything is found, and there's a very nice little button down here, which allows us to download the whole package in one zip file. Once it's downloaded, 
we can take it, open it, and copy it somewhere where we can use it. Remember to always unpack these files. I'm going to have I'm going to use a folder called demo for this, which is all new. Here we go. Now all the software is in here. It's all there. So we start out by compiling the software. We start the Arduino IDE. And we open the sketch files. Here we go. Everything is where we want it. We have our different files. They're all loaded automatically. Everything you have to do is you have to open the INO file that corresponds to the directory name. From there on, the IDE will do everything automatically for you. Then we should see to it that our Arduino, let's use this one, is connected to USB. It's going to put this one here. And then we tell the IDE what we're using. In this case, it's an Arduino Nano with the 328 chip, and we have to tell it which port it's on, and uh, that's COM4 in this case. So, basically this was it. Now, in the code you will find these things here, steps per millimeter in X direction, in Y direction, and in Z direction. If you're using a, a servo for the Z axis, you can ignore the steps per millimeter for Z axis, but you must not put them to zero because um, with the software the stepper is simulated but it's moving the servo instead. So if you put this to zero it will work. So in our case this is set f for 200 steps equal 17.1 millimeters. You can do this in two ways. You can either measure the way the stepper is moving uh, by having a few experiments or you can calculate it which is very simple. You just take your diameter of the axis that your wire or nylon or whatever is going around. You take the diameter which is D and you multiply it by P pi in English, sorry. Um, and then you get the circumference. Which is C. And C equals D times pi. Or in the other case, you just set these values to 1. You have it go for a line, let's say 200 steps. And then you measured the distance, which in my case was 17.1 millimeters. So you set these values here and everything is good to go. What you then have to do, you can verify that the code is working by clicking verify. The Arduino IDE does the compiling for you. And uh, if everything works out, you can click Upload, in which case you will see that the IDE compiles it again and then directly ups uploads it to the Arduino. Uploading is done. And we can even check if it's working, because if we 
open the serial monitor, monitor at 9600 baht and give it something to do like for example say uh, G0 which is a move X to coordinate 10 millimeters it should respond with an OK and so it did so this is working now this also concludes part one where you transfer the code into the Arduino and I'll just swiftly go to part two which shows you how to make g-code from um, an HPGL file that is not quite that simple but it's no miracle in itself okay now to get this done you need software and you need special software the software you need is called HP2XX and you need the version 0.35 or 3.5 I'm not so sure right now but um, I'm going to put a download link into the description and uh, you can just pull it from there um, I downloaded this and I uh, unzipped it into the root directory because it makes things simpler now what you need to do this is you need a command prompt and you need to start the command prompt as administrator okay part one and I'm going to document this in the description too you need to expand the path because it makes things simpler and you need to add the path where you unpacked the HP2XX tool then let's do this simple way for now we're just going to use what I unpacked earlier Demo. And we're just going to redo this file here. Oops. Sorry. CD This never works when you need it So, sorry what you need to do is you need to go into the uh, directory where you saved all the files you downloaded from my github repo and uh, you should go into the extras controller directory you can do this by hand or you can just copy the link location from the explorer window which makes it easier so now suppose you want to do controller.hpgl and you want to turn the HPGL into um, G-code what you do is you just call HP2XX with minus M NC for NC code and then you give it 
controller dot HP GL and that's all there is to it so just create it a new NC file for us we can look into that here it is 560 kilobytes in size we can open that uh, that's what I'm looking for and here you go this is really simple now the next part will be to send this file to the Arduino with the firmware on it so I can just plot that and I'll be showing that next Thank you.